hey youtube so i'm back at it again with another video and as you can see i'm back in my room and excuse me i'm looking a little down bad right now i just have like a strapless dress on you know my edges ain't done but it's okay it's okay it's okay but anyway today i don't really know what i'm gonna make the video about yet so i'm just gonna improv this video because i tell myself I was going to at least make one video this week every day to like basically take up for all the time I didn't make videos and I was supposed to. But anyways, I had a different idea for a video today, but I was too lazy to do it. So today we was going to do something in my room and we're going to go back downstairs tomorrow because I did not feel like being out there another day. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. It's not Jay. So after thinking, I was thinking we're gonna do a all about me video. So basically, I'm just gonna talk about little things about me basically i don't know my bad i'm kind of making i'm making some hawaiian punch wild purple splash with some water some ice cold water. but yeah so a little bit about myself as you all know oh that got dark fast my name is Najee purvis i am 18 years old and I go to school without walls. But you know, currently we're all out of school because you know, Corona. So I won't be at walls for long. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyways, what 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 comes in about me? Um I don't want to answer like the stuff that was in a Q&A. I don't want to be repetitive. Okay, we can get into like what I want to be when I grow up and then the background behind it. Okay, so I want to be either an industrial engineer or an architectural engineer and I want a minor in business management and I'm just going to like take fashion and design like classes on the side. So fashion and design i've always been into fashion since i was little like that's always been my thing like even when i was a tomboy i still had my sense of fashion in some type of way like i always like back when i had a uniform i would always style it up some type of way like i would design anything like, i used to make my own book bags back when i was little like i was like 12 years old like like um hot glue and rhinestones on like my book bag and sewing fabric on my book bag and stuff like that. So like it's always been a big thing to me. But like I never thought of actually that being a part of my life and career. Because you know, when you like when you little, you know you know you never was really taught like fashion is a career. Like you never taught like your hobby can be something you can be when you grow up. You always taught, oh be a police officer, be a firefighter, be a lawyer. You know, you never taught you can be anything you actually love in life so i was never i didn't grow up thinking oh i want to be a fashion designer but growing up i also like math and science so my favorite math teacher he was an engineer before he was a teacher so he he had that like high level experience he was telling me this was fourth grade and in fourth grade he would like always tell me about his engineering experiences and how he would uh, deal with different machinery and things of such and it was really intriguing to me from that day i was interested in engineering i didn't know what type of engineer i wanted to be but i don't know all right but later down the road i would like go to like different engineering um programs or or like participate in like stem stuff that like, still haven't got like in-depth learning about engineering like i did like small little programs i mean if if help it has helped me a lot 
and it helped me decide narrow it down to like at least three type of engineers i'm interested in but i didn't get to know as much as i really want to like i want to like like get to work hands-on with the engineer type stuff i also did meet an architect in seventh grade this an architect came to my math class we were um we were like build like we were doing a project on building structures and stuff we all had to build something for like math and science came together we had to like do a math project but then we had to build it in science and something so we had an architect come and then like the drawing like when it came to architecture came so naturally to me so then i'm like automatically from then like i'm just like architecture but like i never thought of it like being two things you know and so i'm just like i like architecture I like engineering and i'm still not thinking of fashion because like you know you know you know you know so also in fourth grade me and my friends had a bow business i think it was like almighty bows or something like that and we made bows out of duct tape and i made so much profit as a fourth grader like i didn't just make bows like my like the business was making bows but like you know me i like to be creative and try things so i started making wallets and jewelry and stuff and i made like this whole cool little wallet like it had like the little buttons on it that you close it had like folds i don't even remember how i did that like i don't know how i did that but it was like a like a cute bow and i got like twenty dollars per uh wallet and people really were like asking like can you make me one can you make me one but honestly i was young and like i wasn't like really pushed to like oh keep keep doing that business you know like it was just like a friend group thing so like when one of us was, was like done with it we all was just like forget it so i don't know whatever happened to it so from that day i knew i wanted to do business but then as i grew up i just forgot about business honestly in two 10th grade so 10th grade i decided that i wanted to do a business again like i was into business and i know it was like easy money i just wanted to have a side hustle because honestly when I like have my mind or something, like I wanna do that jump. So yeah, so 10th grade, I decided to start a clothing line business. I don't know, was it ninth grade? No, it was 10th grade. I'm this 10th grade, I wanted to start a clothing line business and but I wanted it to be inspirational somehow. So like it took me so long to actually start the business. Like I actually started it in tenth grade, but I've been thinking about it. But I just could f I couldn't find any way that my brand could be inspirational, but also benefit me the same at the same time. So later on down the line, I decided to make my brand Aspiration Inc. And it basically means you inspire before you expire. So basically, my brand was an inspirational quote apparel store. So I would make clothing with inspirational words such as confident, bold, beautiful, stuff like that that builds your self esteem. Because I know I dealt with that as like a younger child, not really having the most highest self esteem, but fashion bringing me out there. So that's what I wanted to do as a brand. But later, I don't know i feel like even though my brand was a good cause it wasn't bringing in as money as i wanted to not every even though it's a lot of people out here that deal with insecurities and that needs confidence there sadly aren't people that, that like they are perfectly fine with their confidence or just people that don't want confident bold on their shirt so I decided later on to become to make another business and it's Trend Motor Apparel. Trend Motor Apparel is basically provides you trendy clothes, but I also custom, which includes Aspiration Inc. So therefore my my new brand, it has clothes for anybody. We have jewelry, we have like body, like scrubs and candles. We have anything for everybody. We are gonna have like hoodies and joggers but with that we still have the 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 like the branch where i can make clothes that have words like confident and bold that way there still is 
you know, some type of meaning to my business. But, like, you know, it's, it's more, like, general, generalized. Like, everybody can shop there. Like, it's like, you always going to find something that you're going to like at Trend Moda. So, it was just like, yeah, I feel like it was better. And also, what else? I don't really remember, but that, but that's the business side of like me. So back to the stem thing. So I've recently, well, not really recently, but I'm a part of this program called STEM for the Streets, and basically we go around to different um, less fortunate schools, like middle schools, and like certain ward areas, and we teach them STEM lessons. And, like, we go there and basically run a, like, lab with them. And, like, we teach them the importance of, like, knowing your earth and knowing your sciences. And basically, we encourage um, children to, you know, go towards the STEM fields. But we also encourage them to follow their dreams. But, you know, it's a STEM program. So, we just making sure that all kids are aware what STEM is because... When I was younger, I didn't know what that was until I got older. And I'm just like, mm, that's actually interesting. Like, if I would have had these lessons that we were teaching the kids when I was younger, like, I would be mind blown. Like, we have made ice cream out of scratch before. We've built a terrarium. We have dissected a cow eye. We've dissected a sheep heart. We've cut open and looked into a healthy fish and... We went over the lessons of how pollution can infect fish and how when pollute, when animals or fish digest the, the polluted trash and plastic, how we eat it and then it eventually affects us and our earth. So, I mean, it's really informational but fun at the same time. So, it's really fun. I love it. Like, the kids love me and I love teaching them science because it's really fun and important. Um, so yeah, but then I also participated in this program at Howard University and it was guided by professors in the engineering fields and we got to like see different people talk about their um, type of engineering and what they did and we did like different workshops and we met like a civil engineer, um, a mechanical engineer, it was another engineer, it's a, um, so the engineer that did with satellites. I don't remember but from that I um figured out that like civil and mechanic was my type of engineering that I like but overall mechanic was the best but you know I still like architectural engineering better than mechanic but they didn't have an architectural engineer come in so that was unfortunate but it is what it is um then later down the line i participated in like this job fair career fair or something like that and they had like an engineer there also and we i was talking to him about it and he introduced me to the idea of industrial engineering and he told me how like industrial engineering can have my science my engineering and my architecture all in one and that was a great idea and now i'm into like industrial engineer and I think that might be the one I'm doing so me wish me luck like I want to be industrial engineer I want to minor in business management because you know we got to get that business degree so this business could be certified certified and I'm already taking business certifications now I'm in this program where it helps me get connections i have business connections already i'm working on all my certifications we we gonna be successful in life i tell you but yeah and i want to take fashion courses on the side and there it's not necessarily like oh because i want to create my fashion company like i need college or anything because honestly i think i can do it without college it's like all i need is the right motivation and i can create my fashion label my apparel store without it so when I do fashion design on the side, it's basically just informational. I actually just want to know, like, the basics of everything. 
I want to learn all this is to know about sewing and everything. Like, I know how to sew, I got a sewing machine, but I want to know everything. Like, I don't want to be limited to, like, designs. I want to know everything. I want to, like, you know, I'll, I'll go to take some classes. Like, not necessarily college classes, but, you know, they have, like, fashion classes, sewing classes, and stuff around the world. So, I'll sign up for that. But hold up a second. excuse me i drink with my pinky but i swear like it's not on purpose like i've always drink with my pinky i don't know why but yeah it's a habit but okay um enough about that um what else what else what else i look so naked and dry like this is my tr this is myself and it's like as it's Myself at its roughest, like you know, I got the natural hair, I got the in the house glass. Well, I like it's my granny. Hi, Barbara. But yeah, I got the natural glasses, you know. At least my face clear, pretty much. I don't got no lip gloss. It's my natural glow. I don't got no bra on, excuse me. But yeah, I'm just all natural. But guys, I don't know what else I could talk about, to be honest. Like, I guess this is all the video going to be. Like, well, I hope that you guys actually watch what I said. Some of you guys might be skipping through. It's okay not to be invested in what I do. But, like, this is my story and this is where I want to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You might have not. I mean, this isn't the funny, the funnest video I've made. But, you know, I want to be consistent with my content because I'm really serious about YouTube. And I really want to make it far. So, I hope you support me. From zero subscribers all the way to a million. And we out. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. And we out. Excuse me for the champions. Ah. It's not Jay.